probabilmente ricordate anche voi una serie fine anni 80 inizi anni 90 che si chiamava Gli amici di papà in inglese Full House Adesso Netflix ha prodotto come original il seguito di Full House che si chiama Fuller House, le amiche di mamma. È una classica sitcom americana, tranquilla, super divertente, perfetta da guardare anche insieme. Io infatti è la prima serie che sto guardando con Viola e le piace tantissimo. E sono stata a New York con Netflix per intervistare il cast. È arrivato il momento, sto per andare a fare le interviste alle attrici, sono abbastanza tesa perché gliela devo fare in inglese, ho preparato un po' di domande e soprattutto voglio fare loro una specie di quiz, una specie di test su quanto sono mamme italiane. Sto andando eh, sto andando, sono abbastanza terrorizzata. One, two, three, four. I'm very excited. Oh, good, thank you. So, first of all, it's super nice to meet you. And I wanted to ask you one thing, because you have many fans because of Full House. But of course, not all the people have seen Full House. So what would you say to these people about Fuller House? One cool thing to say, though, is that even if you've never seen the original Full House, Fuller House is a great show all by itself. Totally. Isn't this crazy? I wound up living back in my old bedroom. I moved in here when I was five. Now here we are again. It's a circle of life. Oh, look, and there's Simba. Yeah, so I play DJ Tanner, and I'm a mom of three boys, and I've recently lost my husband, and I'm overwhelmed, so my best friend, Kimmy Gibbler, and sister Stephanie move in uh, to help me out, and you have a daughter in the show. Yeah, I'm a single mom as well, so my daughter Ramona and I move into the house to help out Deej, and yeah. uh... I am clearing my schedule, and I'm moving in with my sister. Steph, you need me right now. And you need me. So I'm moving into. I've sort of been living the fun, traveling, single girl lifestyle as a, a DJ, a very successful DJ around the world. So I come home to, to kind of step into the family role, which is mm -hmm. a bit different for who yeah, Stephanie's Yeah, and been. Fuller House is, it's lots of fun. It's a family show. You sit and can watch with your kids and just relax and be entertained. Yeah. And ha it has good values. And what do you think it's um, in Fuller House is the same as in Pool House and what has changed completely? Family loving tones are the same, um, but there's a great female energy about this show that um, wasn't entirely in the, in the first show, right. but Fuller House is about these female relationships. It's a sisterhood that mm -hmm. we have and about building each other up and supporting each other. What do you think it, you need to survive big families? Because sometimes it can be challenging. Mm -hmm. I think you need patience and a good sense of humor. There's nothing like laughter to help you True. get through anything. And sometimes a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> that, that helps. helps. Yeah. Hey, Tommy, Mommy's here. I'm having a tough day too. I wanted to ask each of you, what's the best tip about maternity that you've gotten and from who? Mm -hmm to just sort of remember each moment because I think as moms we kind of, you know, especially when they're little, we're like, oh, I can't wait till they're walking, I don't have to carry her, I can't wait till they this, and I don't, you know, and it's, you never know when that moment's gonna be your last. Mm -hmm. Like, my, my eight-year-old just started telling me like, I don't want you to give me a bath, I'm fine, I can do, you know, I can do showers, and I'm like, oh. And now, like, she goes and does it, her, washes her hair, does the whole deal, and that's not a little, moment that I get to sit and connect with her and chat with her about her day and do all that anymore. Mm -hmm. To remember as a mom, those little things that sometimes can annoy you about, oh, we gotta do this again, will be the last moment sometimes, you know. Mm -hmm. I think the best tip I received is that you don't have to be perfect, you just, your kids just want you to be good enough, and that's enough, mm -hmm. you know. You, I think as women, we, we're so, we wanna be perfect and we wanna be, we wanna excel in our work lives and our home lives and, and Every, everything, every aspect of lives, and that's, that's too difficult. So um, your kids just want you to, just to be there and to turn off the radio when you're in the car and that you can have your best mm -hmm. conversations in the car or, you know, so walking. True. People don't walk anywhere in, in L.A., but it's, they just want you to be present. Now, I have a little game I wanted to play with you. Okay. You know, I'm Italian and that we have this big stereotype about the Italian mamma. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to turn myself into my mom, which is a classic proper Italian mom. And I'm going to ask you a few questions to understand how Italian mamma you are. Oh, okay. 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 
It's a mild spring day and you take your kid to the playground. Do you make him or her wear a down feather jacket? No, no I no, don't. No. no. Wrong. What? <laughs> you need them to wear a jacket and a scarf, possibly. Really? <laughs> yeah, cold. because it could be windy, you never know, they could get a cold. Okay, so... It's dinner time. Is a sandwich okay for dinner? No. Not in my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, we really If you're like an Italian cook. mom, no. But for me, yeah, I'm just happy if they'll eat anything. Yeah. A sandwich is good for good in my house. No. Oh. A four course meal is needed. Oh wow. For lunch and for dinner. Oh, All these four creatures will starve. <laughs> <laughs> You're at the beach and the kid just had lunch. How long before it can have a splash? 30 minutes. I say 20 minutes. No, I say go right away. <laughs> it's three hours. Three <laughs> hours. Three hours. <laughs> three hours. <laughs> <laughs> then the sun will be down by right? that time. Your kid is now grown up and this far away. How often should he call you? Every, Every day. day. Three times a day. If you're an Italian mom. Oh. But you're serious. No, no. But my, <laughs> I'm saying, as an Ita I thought that was how we were supposed to end. Like, how would we do it if we were an Italian mother? I was like, what am I going to talk to him about three times a day? Once they a day just want to know that you're, if you're an Italian mom, they just want to know you're alive. Although this last question was kind of okay, because once a day is fine, I think, unfortunately, you failed the Italian mama test. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> they're American mamas. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, <laughs> totally. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Fatemi sapere se vedete Fuller House e cosa ne pensate e soprattutto fatemi sapere cosa ne pensate di questa intervista perché effettivamente è la prima volta che mi vedete parlare in inglese nei panni di intervistatrice di celebrities. You got it, dude!